Booktube birthday. Book, booktube birthday tea. If you haven't guessed, I'm doing a video for my booktube birthday and I've got some special guests. So it's Jen of Jen Campbell or Hello, just Jen of herself. <laughs> you just adjust the It's all going really well. Oh, okay. And then we've got Lauren of Reads and Daydreams and then we've got Chris of... Oh, Simon, yeah. how has your year been? Speech! Oh. Mm. Well, it started off a bit roguely because Jen said you should go back to it because I started in 2013 yeah. and mm. didn't think it would catch on. Yeah. That was clever. Mm. <laughs> I think where you'd be if you started in 2013. I know, I'd probably retired. <laughs> <laughs> you'd be the new Zoella. What's my best been? My favourite bits of booktube have been all the people I've met and all the lovely conversations I've had about books. Mm. What was your favourite thing about your first year? Fine. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Lauren, what was your favourite thing my about your first year? Probably the same, actually. Like, I've, I've been watching you booktube for a long time, so it's nice to them, when you started making videos, like, yeah. then being part of the community. Yeah. Just, that was the best thing, I think, about yeah. getting involved. Right, same thing, th th blah, 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 you can keep that in. Yeah. <laughs> same, same thing for me as well, the conversations you have with people and the people that you meet. Mm -hmm. My best pals? No. It's just nice. It's a very mm -hmm. nice place to be. Also, I think, aside from that, it's... I will, like confession time. I wasn't a very confident person before I started making booktube mm. and I really didn't want to make booktube videos but now I feel like it's helped me in other parts of my life because I'm much better at like interacting with people and speaking with people which is weird because you're not actually talking to anyone when you make a video. But I, I think it's like good. therapy I though. Like I think it's like therapy mm. when you do a video. If yes. I do one of my cup and catch ups mm. I feel like I've got everything out of my system and I don't have to bore in. Mm. That's true. It's like <laughs> therapy. You never bore me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, send it on camera. Mm -hmm. I would recommend to everyone if they want to do it, do it. Yeah. That is my. And oh, yeah. are you there? <laughs> this will all be in. I'm live tweeting. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to start a channel, Lauren has made a whole series of videos. I'd have to start a YouTube channel. Except I haven't, though. I've made two. Well, she started. She will. I will. Continue. I will continue. Hello, <laughs> Lauren has made a whole series. <laughs> oh, 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 she hasn't. Right. So. Um, Questions. So far, what's your favourite booktube that you've made? What ones do you wish to make but seems too crazy and or difficult? This was asked by Molly Aitken. Well, there is the video of me reading Skydiving that I've not quite got round to yet. So <laughs> that's going to be one of the ones you Could course. you sew up for Skydiving as we were skydiving? Yeah, so that's a possibility. Um, my favourite one I've made? I don't think I've got a favourite one I've made. I quite like making vlogs. And then yeah. what makes me mm. like a vlog so is people go, please make a vlog, and then you put them up and it's like, oh, we asked you for one, but we don't really want to watch it. <laughs> Generally, the vlogs are like two views, you know, what is <laughs> <laughs> what's going on? And then you people are like, it? I love it when you vlog, it's like, do you? And <laughs> I also, I've it? enjoyed making some with authors, but it's, it's the same thing, mm. people are a bit like, mm. and then, the, but what I find is odd, it's like videos like a couple and a catch up, which to me are not booktube really, it's just me sat in the chat, do best. Yeah. Apart from halls and wrap ups, which are the life Hors. Halls. Halls, Jen. Don't bring the halls to this party again. Um, but no, I think the halls and halls mm -hmm. and wrap ups, they are the lifeblood. I think they're very good um, methods. Like when I'm found a new booktuber, I try and watch a wrap up. I find one of their wrap ups or I find one of their halls. So yeah. I think they're really good at um, halls. halls. Yeah, I find those really handy to get a, a sense of what their channel's about. Mm -hmm. and like what kind of books they read and how they review and it kind of gives you a really good idea of what that person is whereas if someone's yeah. just chatting you sort of need to know them already I think. So, yeah, I'd like to apologise to all my viewers who have just sat watching this phone. Thank you. He's got the next question. Uh, Jen, what's your question? Mm -hmm. I'm having mallow. Jenny Fagan says, Oh, Jenny Fagan. Jenny Fagan says, can you do my birthday this year? That looks very Alice in Wonderland. Oh. No, I'm afraid we're not available for bookings, Jenny. Yeah, so what's your price, Jenny? <laughs> well, then this will be a reading and writing retreat at some point. Mm. So, Jenny, if you want to come and write here and happy birthday at the same time, mm. we can promise you a um, Tunnock's mm -hmm. milk chocolate marshmallow. Spoiling it, spoiling it. Catering packages are available. Daisy's question was, what book would Simon recommend if everyone in the UK decided to read one book? Oh, so, yeah. a buddy read on a giant scale. I think we all know the answer to this one. It's got to be Rebecca, isn't it? Oh, God. Did you say don't say it? Oh, 
Or... Kind of keep your viewers interested, Simon. I mean, you, you can't make it everyone read <laughs> Rebecca, 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 Rebecca. Um, what other one would I like people to read? It's quite a big superpower, making everyone... So that Looking includes like, the Prime readable. Minister and everybody oh, okay. in the country is reading this one. But Currently, so think about your power. The Gender Games by Juno Dawson. Because mm-hmm. that book has really made me think and made me realise I had questions I didn't know I had. Mm-hmm. Okay, good one. Since he loves the Spice Girls, what book would he think represents each Spice Girl? I love this question. Oh my it's god, my that's question. like the best question ever. I know, but also isn't it? The hardest. Mm-hmm. So, what book sporty. describes sporty? Mm. Eat Sweat Play. Ooh, that's good. Cool. Yeah. Mm. Eats um, like baby. I feel like I feel like baby needs to be a YA novel. Or, or a big book. Yeah. I think scary spice should be easy. So. Scary spice got to be something like um, a, a very scary book, and the, probably the one that scared me the most mm-hmm. is by. Oh, it's called Alex by Pierre Lemaitre, which is genuinely one of the scariest stories I've ever read in my life. Okay. Okay. That's there we go. Posh. Yeah, so that's really posh. Really posh. Bit of posh. <gasps> Hannah posh. Rothschild. No, that can absolutely. I like Posh no. Bites. I hate Hannah Rothschild's book with a it's passion. Posh, oh. It's no, it's not though. That's not I'd go posh. for um, I'd posh, go for like, something s- like Bride's Head Revisited. Oh, yeah. there's my Posh Spice one. Interesting. Okay, so we're coming back to Ginger. Ginger, just got to eat sweat, pray, and we for sporty Ginger Spice. It's got to be something that's. Rash. Got to see. A bit. Oh, what about um, Jane Harris's? Um, the observations because Bessie Buckley is really brash, quite foul mouthed, but a proper heroine. Okay, sounds good. That's or good actually, one. the Essex Serpent because the Chorus Ebon is a bit of a because she's ginger. Bit of a leader, isn't she? Bit of a ginger. Oh, I don't know. I wasn't sure what you were getting at. No. <laughs> I just, I just say <laughs> characteristics. Ginger. Is she a bit ginger? Is she, is she ginger? Oh, it's it's just remember. for this, she is. She okay. now is. She's now she's ginger. She's dyed hair in Essex. <laughs> <laughs> and baby spice, I'm gonna go for. Baby. It's all cool. It's just yeah, but Getting I want to find something. I know. He's like getting oh, I know. all over my face. Charlie Cook's favorite book, because that's the best kids' book for, about books that I've read yet. Until when, Jen? Oh, <laughs> What's coming out this year, Jen? <laughs> the seventh of September. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I love you all very much. <laughs> <laughs> and now she wants to never And now she wants to eat her marshmallow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Get it all over my face. I like another question. One. Amy has asked, um, if you could make your own product for Lush, what would it be and what would you? Oh, call I know it? this one already because I've told them what I think that they should make. Oh. <laughs> I told them in an email. Oh, you're bringing a knife. I thought oh, you just had enough. He's <laughs> um, <laughs> had enough, and he wants me to shut up. That's why he's got enough. Oh, okay. I would like them to make a bath bomb mm-hmm. that's a pink glitter in the shape of a bear. Aww. And the smell would be something rose based, even though they already do rose ones. They already do rose based. It also contains a bleaching agent to clean the bath down. Oh, yeah, because yeah. I dyed the bath black recently with their new really? one. Yeah, yeah, it properly dyes the bath. Yes, Lush. <laughs> <laughs> don't mind. Don't yeah, come around to clean the bath after um, it's Oh, and it's like morphine. It's metamorphosis. It's not called morphine. <laughs> <laughs> this new Metamorph- bath bomb. Morphine. <laughs> but it looks, it's, it's like, it's a grey spiky ball, and then it looks like it's got green inside, so it's like, oh, that won't do much. But no, it's actually, sure enough, black ring around the whole oh, of the bath. It's not good. It took bleach, didn't it, Chris? It took Albert grease. Mm-hmm. So that, that would be my lush suggestion. What would That's you nice. choose? Cheese. Or maybe a pineapple no. smelling one. They haven't done a pineapple smelling one. Oh, pineapple would be nice. Yeah. Yeah. Pina colada I, bear. I like the ones they already have. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> My favourite is so, is so white. Oh my god, that is gorgeous. And the apple one, I apple. really like apple. I like vanilla ones, like creamy vanilla mm. and cinnamon ones. I really like well. one that smells like flash. <laughs> the flash bath bomb cleans afterwards. <laughs> Self cleaning. <laughs> <laughs> You'll clean the bath clean, we're all done. <laughs> but that would be a way of dealing with that it. That would be good, actually. Yeah. Your skin would be quite, you know, oh, you know yeah. bleached and puckered. You'd be constantly red from the fact that it all comes off. You'd be like off. red and raw. <laughs> the idea was that you put it in after you've gone out of the bath. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah you do that if you want. <laughs> oh, okay. So I do like they, they, they just did that really huge one, Mother Earth, didn't they? I haven't seen that one. It is massive. So. But I've only just got into um, bath doors, what are they called, the ones that melt. Bath melt. Bath melt. <laughs> that's it. Bubble bars. No, bubble bars. Bubble bars. That's what I'm about. Yeah. Um, and I didn't realise that you could crumble them in, so I was holding them directly under the I, no, boiling I, no. hot tap. I, and I, 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 I did that when I first started. Yeah, I was just like, oh god, I'm having to hold it for ages. <laughs> like, it's not... I did the same thing. Yeah. 
Because it says crumble it under a tap. I've like, been well, ribbed about that by Lauren and Mercedes. Well, I still just put it under the tap because you get more bass out of it if you do You that. do, but also, mm. the other thing as well is that but it's not good if you don't have a, a duo funnel yeah. bath mix tap like tap. I have. I don't have a mixer tap. So it was scalding. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's what you So mean. I was actually thinking of buying some special, what are those salad things? I could just have them <laughs> in the bath. Not a <laughs> tongs. No, so. tongs, that's it. Tongs that I could just hold it at a distance. Work, though. I don't you could have it in a colander. Yeah, you could, and it would go, and it would go through the holes. Or a little thing you put tea in. Or a little, yeah, a little yeah, tea straight, thing. Though. Oh, we thought it all through. Oh, lush will be go. At Christmas this year, you wait, there'll be a so lush, ideas, lush yeah. tongs, and there'll be a lush strainer, and there'll be a lush tea lush. bag. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. They can. They'll do. Oh. 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 Turn it around. Don't ever do it. So while Chris is doing this, any other questions? Yes. Yes. Uh, what is your favourite cocktail to book genre pairing? So like, this is from Angelica. Oh. So you, like red wine and poetry, for example. Oh, Co Ooh. oh, even colladas and anything. Oh, look oh, at that. Oh, look, so pretty. Oh, lovely. it's a rainbow it's cake. A rainbow. Okay. Is it, I've just noticed how pink this room is as well. I'm not, I'm not conforming to stereotype yeah. at all. <laughs> I'm like this. Welcome to my big gay birthday. <laughs> <laughs> um, Drink to so pina colada uh, with anything or your um is that too much? Or we were talking about Caribbean breeze <laughs> oh yeah I used to love a Caribbean twist that's it Caribbean oh twist. look at that oh, oh look. Um, but I don't really drink and read because then you start not it's concentrating tea. I just like oh, a, you mean I like, yeah, yeah I like yeah. Oh, an alcoholic right. beverage and much. as me and Lauren and Jen discussed yesterday for quite some time we have quite interesting tea thoughts <gasps> oh no tea thoughts yeah how we yeah. do our tea and I can I like a big mug that can last forever. So that would be my drinking ratio. What about you two? Nice. Thanks. What's your choice for drinking and reading? You need a book genre as well. Oh. It's a pairing. Oh, pina colada and literary fiction. <laughs> you just pulled that out your own. Or a right. Bloody You've Mary and a crime that. novel. Oh, I like oh, that. Oh, nice. save, the day. Save, the day. save the day a little bit. A woo woo would go with the <laughs> science fiction, wouldn't it? Because it's just a bit woo woo. Woo woo. Yeah, woo -woo. Woo -woo. Yeah. They'd like green as well. Woo woo cocktail. Popcorn tells us what we were, is it? Yeah. Or maybe I'm thinking of a zombie. Ooh. 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 Next question. Next question. Okay, I need you do one. Alright. Yeah, sorry, I don't have a pairing, but I don't drink alcohol when I'm reading either because I can't concentrate. I just think you get squiffy when you don't follow the story. I've tried doing it when I've been out. I'm on my way home from a night out and I'm like, oh yeah, I've written my book on the train. <laughs> and then it's like, I completely forgot. I completely <laughs> forgot everything that happened in that chapter. Um, <laughs> if you were a crayon, which crayon would you be, Simon? The purple one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Cool. That accidentally writes swear words. What? What? Fuck. <laughs> 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 Next question. Oh, sorry. 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 Mm. I like a I like a silhouette of a house. <laughs> that's very specific. No, do you know what I mean though? Because you know that's going to be a bit gothic. Mm -hmm. So therefore, I like that. Okay. Um, I like a snake. Yeah. Um, well, that's mermaid. Yeah, mermaid. 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 What about you? Yeah. I like mm. a forest. Oh yeah. Give me a bit of forest. I don't know. Give me a bit of drink. <laughs> Give me a bit of that forest and I'll be off. I <laughs> think I like things that I like a bit. I don't care what's on them. It's more like the design. I like, I like good stuff that's font. Like, no comic sand there. Yeah, oh god, no, no comic sand. <laughs> I don't like anything with like an actual photo on it. No, oh, no, no, no. Not an actual oh, photo of a person. Why I don't like faces, but I also don't like the whole headless thing. Oh, that's so that you can, it's trying to combat that, isn't it? But so I don't want you, either. You can imagine the face of the person, so they mm. cut off their head. Mm. No closed gates, no women disappearing in red coats. Oh, no. Oh, my God. No. No. I like, I really like, <laughs> oh, I really like. Shirtless men. We were talking about this earlier, but nothing, no do wearing a cloak. No. <laughs> that really no one wearing a cloak. No capes allowed. <laughs> Paper cut out design, I like. Yeah. yeah. Boiling, I like. I like. Pattern. I like the design. I, I like, like the um, drawings. Like, yeah, uh, what's the word? I want to say ribbed, and that's not the way I want this to no, go. No, embossed, darling. Uh, embossed for his pleasure. <laughs> that's what I like. Um, and I like a coloured page. A deco a coloured edge. edge. Yeah. yeah. Although, if it rains and they get rained on, they run, and that's Ooh, horrible. Yeah. Note to publishers. Yeah, note to publishers. Mm. Um, and also, what else? Do I like? But also, that said, we were talking about covers earlier. I really like Faber covers. 
where yeah. they with the poetry block where it's mm. block colour with another colour and writing. That's yeah. Yeah. simple yet effective. That mm. is nice. Yeah. And I do like the covers. Oh. <laughs> Pretend that didn't happen. I do like covers that just have lots of different elements on and all together that are arranged nicely in the shape of a heart, heart maybe. Oh. Guys, I wasn't going that far. <laughs> Gosh, that's another book. That's that really I think. interesting, isn't I think it? I've seen some designs for a couple Actually, like that. I think some of my favourite covers have the name Jen Campbell written at the bottom. <laughs> Can we also highlight the love of a white proof? Mm. No, you do, I don't. Nothing at all. I could just wreck I just like proofs because I can battle them, but if I don't have a finished copy, I get a bit tense. Mm. Yeah, they're not very nice on your shelf afterwards, a proof of them. <clears throat> no, which makes me sound like a spoiled brat mm. on my does. first birthday. Really but does. frankly, I am. But I don't like having books on my shelf that I haven't read. So like I don't. That that's not correct because I do have lots of books on my yeah, shelf. I that I have read. That's what I mean. I've been to your house. We've been to your house. <laughs> <laughs> no, sorry. I mean like a, a copy of a book that I have read, but is not the copy that I read. Oh, oh okay. Because so I know I didn't read it, and I write in all my books. So oh, having Jen. a oh Jen, oh, there's Jen. no hope for you. Um, <laughs> so oh, having Jen. having a copy of a book that I haven't read that doesn't have my notes in it. It makes it's not, the, it's not the real one mm. that you ever. No. Oh, that doesn't bother me yeah, so much. I don't care about that. No. no. And I don't write in books. No, I don't care about the one I've read. Do you write well, in books? No, never. No. <laughs> like, no, I never write in books. No. Right. No. So, but it's just like interacting with them and getting your thoughts down. I find it much yeah. easier like to talk about them afterwards too. Mm. I think if I didn't if I didn't keep notes like it, with proofs I fold I dog it them I don't care about it. and people are like, oh, I can't believe that but if it's a proof it's gonna end up in the recycling realistically. Yeah. Because mm. the the nice finished yeah, one I'll be on with. I'm not alone with work. Are you not? No. I do it all the time. Something to do with the glue on the oh. spine and all that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. The oh, council are going to gonna be absolutely after me. I've ruined everything. Get everything. Get books out of the bin. <laughs> <laughs> Next question. This is going to be the cruttiest video I've ever done. Have you ever had a fanboy or fangirl reaction when meeting a book viewer in real life for the first time? <laughs> well, you know, or having them come to your house for the first time. <laughs> Not, no, it's not, it's not, I can't say it's fanboy, but it's, because I knew you before. Yeah, we've known each other before, so. I didn't know you before. No. Mm -hmm. I didn't like a channel, so I haven't bothered. Yeah, no, it's really awkward. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not that, I think it's that you, you, it, uh, you feel like you know them before you know them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which is a bit odd. But I think that's okay when it's, when you're both on YouTube, mm -hmm. and then you meet each other, because you both feel like you know each other, yeah. even though you don't really. But yeah. when one person... If you, I don't know. But when if, you start uh, touching the other person, Laura, <laughs> it's not appropriate. I know, I'm really so. Um, I love no. meeting Lauren in the books for the first time because mm. we just ran towards each other and hug each other, and she's like, "I really need a pee." Well, she's like, "But it's twenty pence, and I don't have twenty pence." I was like, "I'll give you twenty pence." <laughs> and then we just linked arms and went off the lead together. Oh, yeah. Speaking of Lauren in the books, the first time we met, I didn't realise. <laughs> Because I've, I've created an alternate history in my brain. Because <laughs> I was like, when did you first meet Lauren? She's like, when I came around your house, I'd never met you before and stayed for a weekend. So I was like, oh yeah! <laughs> but I think it's because of Voxer and things like that. Mm, you end up chatting. Because you com the way you can do it is you comment first, and if there's something you've got in common, then you end up speaking a bit more, and then you box, and then off you go. Boxing is the. Is Next the thing you know, here. you're around the house. Sleeping in the spare bed. I love how you're describing how friendship works. Thank you, Bruce. Yeah. <laughs> so everyone, that's how friendship works. Have you ever fanboyed? Well, sometimes I've made friends with people. <laughs> the way I've done that is by, by fanboying, stalking them, and becoming friends. Have I ever fanboyed, though? No. The only person I've ever fanboyed over in my entire life, and it is not a booktuber or an author anything, is Annika Rice. Oh. I genuinely didn't know what to say to her because I loved Treasure Hunt that much. Oh, that's really cute. It is cute. That's nice. Yeah. What about I, you? I think I found out a little bit the first time I met you. Only because, like... Jen, I love you! I don't know, just because... I don't know! Yeah. Because... It was at that event. Yeah, it was and Sana the were there as well, and I never... So obviously, I'd never met any of you. Mm -hmm. So it was, like, weird. Because I felt like I was going mm -hmm. to come and say hello. Mm -hmm. And well, then I, I had so told you to do that. No, exactly. <laughs> no, we, no, it was it was agreed. It was pre-agreed. It didn't just turn up. And I was like, hi, Dan. <laughs> but, like, I did feel I did feel really nervous going to that. And I was like, <laughs> I was like dying. But you're oh, very see. inclusive. You're very, very like, and that's the other thing. Yeah. Booktube isn't cliquey. I thought it might be cliquey, and it's not at all. Um, and I think people are inclusive, and people do want to. But I think it's about that initial. I like the bringing together of people. Yeah, yeah, but I think it's also about that initial. You've got to work out that you have got something in common. 
Yeah. Otherwise, it is just a bit. We also enjoy telling people what to do, so you know, that's you great too. Never. Bringing people together, <laughs> making them buy every book friends. in the shop. Yeah. Actually, something that I think is quite interesting about it is that there's a difference between liking someone's channel and liking them. And liking them. <laughs> yeah, no, it is. It's true. No, but not like not liking them. <laughs> I'll leave now. This is my party. Well, I'll just go. No, I mean like having something in common with that person. Yeah is but, different like you might go oh yeah i really like what you're doing but then really yeah. you don't actually like the same books it's just mm. that you like watching what they're producing and then if you met them you wouldn't have anything to talk about sometimes mm. i think you can you tell think? from people's book choices i honestly think yeah, i judge people on their book choices you get quite a good idea if you wouldn't get on with someone I even if they but, don't like the same books as me you can just sort of see there's some middle ground but also i think it's personality you can tell from people's personalities but it is it's like friendship mm. But that wasn't it's the question. Life, it's, life, it's always as if we're friends. <laughs> it's always, no, no, what I mean. Um, well, I, I don't yeah. think I've never met anyone who is 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 really different to their channel ever. Oh, I'm not as nice no, as I am people... on my channel. Yeah, no, neither am I. I'm no. much nicer on my channel yeah, than everyone. No, no. Well, I, I love this. Don't, don't include this bit. But I remember when you first like were meeting people, and I was like, "Don't you think everyone's the same?" And you were like, "Not Jean. She's got a potty mouth." Yeah. <laughs> I can include that. You can include that. Yeah. What's, what's Russell said? Because I know Russell. You know Russell. I know Russell. I told him. Which to one's Russell? Income, income paper. Oh, okay, Russell. So, I told him to start with tea time when he did. Well, there we go. <laughs> if you could only drink one tea and eat one sweet for the rest of your life, what would they be? Well, I'm gonna say Yorkshire tea forever mm. and Turkish delight as a sweet. Ooh, fries especially. No, you say fried Turkish fried delight. Fried Turkish deep fried. <laughs> Speaking of Gina, we were recently deep fried to Deep fried to like, Okay, Cassie says, whose private library would you most like to snoop around in? It can be a celebrity, royalty, someone dead, anyone really. This is going to sound dead. odd, but... <laughs> well, if it was dead, it'd be Daphne <laughs> Tamari, eh? Boring, I'm literally stuck on repeat. Yeah, Daphne Tamari, Daphne Live in. I'd like to have a nose around Jerry Halliwell's. Yeah, really? Yeah. She reads a lot. Does she? Mm. Does she? Yeah. I would like to look around Jacqueline Wilson's library because she has oh, a library of over 15,000 books and I want to look at that, please. Also, Does it have to be a real live person because I want to look around the Beast's library and Beauty and the Beast. Oh, oh, here we go. She oh, takes it to another level. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I've thought about this a lot. What about the library of Hogwarts? Why would we not all want to go and see that? Oh, it's not real, Simon. Oh, well, whereas the Beast <laughs> Library is. It actually it has, like, real books. No, 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 that's based on a real library. I'll find it's it actually, for you. Well, I, um... I'd also like to go to the Cemetery of Forgotten Books. Ooh, what's that? Have you read The Shadow in the Wind? No. Oh, you yeah. should. Also, well, the Library of Alexandria. I'd like to see that. Oh, yeah. So I wouldn't be able to read anything. And in it, but Barry yeah. Humphreys had to have his well, house. Well, the library and then... Re uh, he had to have his floors um, strengthened, didn't he? Because he's got so many books. Really? Yeah. That's really interesting. Good old day, Bethany. Um, which book or books portrays, portrays less portrays, your ideal view of the world? Oh. <laughs> Little Mermaid. Oh. <laughs> um, oh. Hang on, can I, can I show you this library first so that I'm not just sitting well, on the Well, I think. <laughs> oh, oh, yes. Oh. Oh Not my goodness! Yeah, because you can't put pictures on your videos, can you? So you can't even show you. Yeah. Look at that, guys! Look at that library! Wow! Very nice. A year in, I don't need to know how to be able to insert pictures. No, Get Jen to hide them up. <laughs> it's it's fine. Fine. Yeah, all day. yeah, if you want to Google it, it's the Admont Monastery in uh, Austria. What, what would you? Beautiful. What would your book of world view be? Your book of world view. Yeah. <laughs> Book your of world, world view. Your world view book. My world view I, I, book. I read quite depressing stuff, so yeah, I, so, well, I read quite gothic book. stuff. Because mine would be girls. Yeah, I was asking. Oh, damn. Oh, Sorry. Mine would be girls would be girls. Yeah. Are you my tool? Mine might be. Shut up. This book is gay by Juno mm. Dawson. Mm. Mm. I've still not eaten any of my cake. It's really upsetting. Harry yeah. Potter. Uh, Harry Potter. Harry Potter. Harry Potter. Harry Potter. Can we not oh, Harry, Potter? <laughs> Harry Potter? Harry Potter. Oh my God, Harry Potter. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> did they say not Harry Potter in that question? Like, no, they did. The ideal view of the world is Harry Potter. I don't know. Yes, there's even even not, uh, actually, there's literally no, no black actually. people in Harry Potter. Is that your true. ideal view of the world? You're saying Gary Potter. Gary. I haven't read it, haven't I? Oh, I have. I have. I thought that was like, get out. Gary. Yeah, no, that's true. Gary Potter. Gary, Gary Potter. Yeah. His gay brother. <laughs> Gary Potter. Those books are coming Gary soon. Potter's a plumber, I think, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> Gary Potter. 
<laughs> just magic with think? pipes. <laughs> No one's just pipes. Right. That's right. right. Good That's a question. different question. Next. Look at that alcohol. This is the joy of cooking. I know. Sugar. Just, We've had sugar. sugar. If, if you were sugar. to write a novel, what genre would you choose to write in? Mm -hmm. mm. Oh, well, literary fiction is a cop out, isn't it? Yes. I know what I'd like to write a book about if I was going to write a book. What would it be? Mrs. Danvers' life before. Rebecca Stars. Rebecca I, know, again. I can't help it, but I think she's, it's fascinating and it would look at sexuality in that era, which would be really interesting mm -hmm. in the pre Victorian well, maybe era. Maybe you could just go and read some Brazilian um, literature from around the same time, and there's probably a book out there anyway because Daphne Tomorrow just ripped off lots of people for Rebecca. Somebody's coming around my party. Plagiarism! Mm, someone needs their eyes open, Simon. Somebody needs to <laughs> stop ruining my party. <laughs> this is my birthday, and I might cry. <laughs> Or if you could commission someone to write a book for you, like what would you want them to write about? Yeah, I don't know. Don't know. Lauren's life story. Mm. Yeah, that'd be good, wouldn't it? Who would you get to write it? Sarah Moss. Oh. Oh. <laughs> 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 Lauren's life story. She'd probably make it like, interesting, I think. It'd be quite good. She makes like the mundane interesting, doesn't yeah. she? Yeah, and she's got just the right amount of like snark. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. What would you write for that, Chris? You should write a cookbook. I'd write a cookbook mm. about a cake. Mm. <laughs> How to eat it. <laughs> cake reviews. This one's good. Yeah. No, this one's so good. This one's a bit heavy. Oh, oh locations. Oh, oh. oh dear. <laughs> So sorry, everything's just gone a little bit down now because one of our jokes wasn't laughed at and Daphne Demario has been slated. <laughs> Next question, Jen. Uh, what are your favourite summer reads? And that's the last question. Favourite summer reads, like ones that I want to read or ones that I have read? Or that we have, have read? Recommend, I should think as well. Well, The Trouble with Goats and Sheep that you oh, bought which today, that's a perfect today. summer yeah, read. Cool. The Proof of Love by Catherine which I bought you. And I planned to read the summer, yeah. Um, oh, and they're both set. Said. But do you know what's amazing about those two? They're both set in the same summer. Which mean? Because Trouble with Goats and Sheep and Proof of Love by a certain summer of 76 when there was an amazing heat wave. Ooh, and there's some really, my dear Farrell's written a really good book about that. Yeah, Graham Joyce's think. last novel was The Year of the Ladybird and that was about a summer of 76 when ladybirds literally infested parts of the city, uh, country. Oh my god. Was that 76? Yeah. Do you remember that, Chris? No. <laughs> <laughs> I would choose to see what I have done because of the heat. It's not good smell, it's a butchered yeah. house. Mm. It's a good gothic summer read, that one. I would also recommend like Rebecca by Dad. <laughs> <laughs> Should we rename your channel Rebecca by yeah. Dad? Yeah. I love Rebecca. Savage Rebecca. Savage Rebecca. <laughs> Rebecca reads. Rebecca. The, the Rebecca reads. What about you, Tim? Uh, Tigers in Red Weather by Eliza Klausman is mm -hmm. a very good one, and The Age of Miracles by Karen Thompson Walker. That's a brilliant book. Which is about the slowing, which is where the uh, earth starts rotating slower, so heat gets really intense. And Days get longer, get or longer. nights get longer, that's... Oh. And then it <laughs> oh. splits oh, no, it's, it's really creepy, because it also, it you know, there's no people, good outcome. Yeah, it splits into people who live on clock time to try and maintain the economy, and finance of the world. And people who just live and on people who live on daylight hours and like twenty four hours of light and then twenty four hours of sleeping and it really messes with their head. Wow, that's um, so cool. And like all the birds fall out of the sky because um, yeah, it's really it's really creepy. It yeah. really grows on you as well. But it's a really good summer at the it's same a time. It's burner. Oh, ho, ho! she's here all week. Oh yeah, all weekend. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Your summer read. Um, I would recommend The Museum of You by Karen Spring. Yeah, that's and what do you want to read this summer as well? I don't know. Oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Hello. I didn't come prepared to this, to this table. Oh. I don't know what I want to read this summer. It's going to be exactly. a surprise. It'll be exactly. I'm going to be reading lots of books this summer. Well, I'm going to read lots of books as well. Just don't read <laughs> one. So that's that. That's my birthday video. Well, it's not my birthday, it's my booktube birthday Happy video. Birthday. Happy birthday! Happy birthday! And um, I might do another one of these in a year if I haven't quit by then. Oh, that's that's nice. 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 No, I'm joking, I'm joking. Um, but um, thank you, Jen, for coming. Thank you, Lauren, for coming. Thanks, Chris, for the K Camp for coming yeah, and okay. being a hostess with the most death. Mm. Uh, and I'll be back for my next video when I'll chat to you about books, probably. Bye! Bye! Bye. Bye. I feel like these are like mermaid cups. <gasps> oh, mm. that Ariel would oh, have. Yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> 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 That's the range.
was the next age on that? So it says 53. 53. <laughs> 53 <laughs> years of savage reads. 53 weeks. <gasps> oh, oh, yeah. 53 weeks. 53 weeks. 